Here, zoom in on the artboard so you can see. Okay, so here you can draw all over the place, right? And then you can come in here and then you can click select, which is right here, and you can say, oh, I want just this area to be selected. Now you're gonna go back to your brush and you're gonna draw, but guess what? You can only draw inside of that selection. I can't draw all over the place, right? Um, now if I come in here, if I press clear here, it's gonna clear whatever's inside that selection. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna clear the actual selection. The only way to do it is to go back to your selection tool and then go up here and hit to the brush presets, which if you're in brush mode, it's your brush presets menu, but in selection mode, it's your selection presets and you gotta clear the selection there. Now I can go back to my brush and I can draw all over the place again, rather than you know not being able to, which if you go back to selection tool, you can clear, expand, you can invert, you can add to your selection, subtract from your selection. But I don't even use the selection tool. I actually use a different method. Let's just pretend I drew this little guy right here. He's black. And then I can turn on a layer above it, which is technically, it's just a big blob. But when I set the layer above it to on, it will only show the color of the layer above it that is that is on top of whatever the layer below shape is. So if there's something drawn on the layer below. Um, it's really tricky and cool, but it works better than anything. So 